Oh, hello, collective. Hello. I'm going to do a reading for us this evening. It's, I think it's about 7.30 or 8. It's dark outside already. Um, it's Monday. I got two different, right here laying, it's two different energies, but it, it's good. This one's weird. This first one I had to read, it's weird. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Pam. This is Pam Star Oracle. I hope I can help you with my oracle of wisdom that's inside of me from all my life's lessons and, you know, and all the people I've had to lose in my life and deaths and all that. You know, I've had so much shit happen to me. It ain't funny. And, and, and everybody around knows me. It, uh, knows it's true, you know. And um, whoever this some bitch is, it's, this story's pulling out on they're a he-man woman hater. That's what they are. Uh, I hope I can give y'all a reading if you like my vibe hit subscribe and hit all so you'll be notified every time i upload here on youtube and uh people that come back and watch me all the time make sure you hit all so you'll be notified every time i upload okay uh, all right so let's get into this um okay so it says uh <sighs> first it come out of this i'm reading this last okay it says a brother could be involved in a situation you didn't even know about your brother was uh it says everything that people wish on a divine being will all come back to them you can run but you can't hide from god and spirit your brother is trying to hide in a spirit hide in a closet for spirit because he is in a group of men that are a bunch of haters of all women. They beat their women and then say, I love you. So his brother is hiding in a closet from spirit because they know spirit's coming to get him uh, because they uh, blocked they b blocked your path somehow. 214. Uh, they're try no, they're trying to block your readings from going around to the public. And you know who's doing it. I just told you it's your brother, somebody's brother out here. They're mad because you're speaking of things that happened like me. I've spoken things that's happened in my, uh, life and when I was young and who did it to me. So they're mad and they're getting triggered at these readings. Well, quit watching it because it's, it, you're never going to be healed till you tell the truth. That's why it really struck a trigger in you. And I'm sorry if it triggers you narcissists that's out here because it's going to trigger a bunch of narcissists, but I can't help it. If you're mean, that's why it's it, it's doing that to you. See, readings don't do that to me because Archangel Michael is my protector. He watches over me. I don't get mad at it. I don't let shit bother me. If it ain't my reading, it ain't my reading. You got to remember that. It, if it... Maybe you don't need to be watching readings if you're getting pissed off at everybody's readings and you're deleting off their channel. You don't need to watch fucking uh, readers. You need to uh, stop. You need to don't do that, okay? All right, because somebody out here, you're all my, in a marriage where there's a, uh, uh, they're in a, already in a relationship and they're a liar and they didn't want you to know. They just wanted to use you for sex. So this man is already in a relationship with a woman and he's fucking another woman. That's what it's saying. Or it's a woman fucking two men. And it's saying, did y'all think I'd be dead by now? Huh? It, 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 whoever he's, this uh, woman is, woman, whoever this is, that you're with somebody's brother out here and they're mad at their sister for doing readings to the public, I think you need to learn how to voice your opinion to this son of a bitch. And, and you need to open up and be more vocal about what the fuck you want in that relationship and tell him, and if they don't fucking like it, tell him to hit the fucking road. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What you say? <laughs> Uh, but, uh, woman, you're being too complacent and you need to stop listening to whoever this man is that's got control over you. You need to stop fucking listening to him. Or if this is you, sister, and you're doing a practice and this motherfucking brothers did shit to you when you was young, don't hold on to it. No, I don't. I don't hold on to it. I don't go around people anymore. It's fucked over me. Y'all, are you listening? So I know it ain't for me. It's that woman needs to listen to it. Tell her old man that he better straighten the fuck up or get on down the damn road. And and uh, listen, uh, you, you're you getting ready to receive upgrades in your spirituality after you speak your truth to that person. After you speak your truth to this brother, that's the only time that upgrades comes. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I see. 
And uh, because the, they're digging up shit about you in the past, maybe this other woman is, whoever the fuck she is. And uh, they're amazed by this transformation you went through, okay? Whoever this other woman is, it's fucking this brother of yours. Um, the brother's got another woman, and that woman is spying on you, okay, woman? And uh, when you paid off this karmic debt with this man, and leave that fucking narcissist in the dust. Leave that narcissist in the dust, because... He, somebody, this man is squirting clear eyes in your drinks in it so you'll shit your guts out, okay? Uh, or they could be trying to kill y'all for good with not, uh, with not clear eyes, but something that's a poison, are you listening? And, um, I'm helping to heal many people and, uh, they still chose to spread lies on me and you all out here said that we was a bad addict like we was meth heads and I wish, but actually they... Uh, was the true druggies, and uh, and I would always say, quit, stop, and quit, and stop doing drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did tell this to my family. I actually can say that, and my and Archangel Michael knows it. And Archangel Michael saying, this man that hates women, you need to stop saying yes to this motherfucker, and 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 pay attention to the transformation that you went through, and leave this addict, and then your upgrades can come. Are you listening? All right, that's what that said. Now let me move this in that way. As a wait a minute, and it, then it said that was a bad deal gone wrong for them to do you this way because um, you're a person that's sent here to uh, make others see that their wrong deeds won't get them karma. In the end, see, they didn't realize that you're the one that uh, is the their karma. You're their karma. Anybody that fucks you over, where you're so nice, you keep letting them shit. Uh, do you shitty, do you shitty? You took it for many, many fucking years. Some of you even 20, 25 years from brothers and people like that. Okay, so now their karma, uh, you, you had to blast them out. That's their karma. Huh? That's the only way they learned. And uh, this person was a much better person when, I, when we and everybody around was telling you to stop doing fucking drugs. Uh, but didn't y'all know that you can't harm a chosen one? You can't. Okay, so whoever that man is, they only wanted you to stroke their ego, and that shit ain't happening over here. So if y'all think that I'm going to build you all up, I'm not. So let's get out of all the ego. Let's get out of the ego. They're mad that you don't do drugs anymore with them and lick them. That's all it is, whoever that is. That's all they want. They just want you to lick them, whoever it is. No, uh-uh. That's a person that likes to physically and mentally and psychologically and maybe even sexually abuse you. Are you listening? And uh, that's called a karmic masculine. It's all about learning lessons. You're not meant to stay in these relationships. You're supposed to run from these karmics. You really are. You're not supposed to stay with them. And because uh, this karmic masculine uh, <laughs> might have got paid from your partner to do something. If, or this is your partner and they've been stealing money from you. Or a boss stole money from you and claimed that you did it. Or a friend did this. Whoever it is in your house, like brother. Whoever it is. Uh, so, but somebody out here, you're in a toxic marriage and there's been lying, cheating, wife beating, and drug use all going on. And you need to make, move on, especially if you have some children. So I think this uh, woman that is with whoever that brother is, and she knows that he's a cheater and he's going around cheating, I think she finally got enough sense to uh, leave that son of a bitch. Uh, because uh, they like to harm your children and... and uh, they abuse them children. Are you listening? Whoever his brother is, they abuse them children. It could be sexually or by, with a paddle. All I know is I guess you need to be asking. Somebody out here does. And they dare them kids to say anything to the mother. I tell you what, if somebody did something to a little child that I know and they has to tell me, I'd, that motherfucker would go to jail, 911. <laughs> 911 just went by. Yeah, see, 911, they're scared the law's getting ready to come on them because they know they did something to a kid. Nasty fuck, child molester, whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe they're not. But all I know is they like to take a paddle and beat the fucking kid. Did you see that? And they're lazy. They got couch disease. You cannot steal what I just fucking said. If I dare hear a woman or a man say this, you got couch disease, I'm going to come over and, and let you know where in the fuck you got that from was from Pound Star Oracle. Nobody ever had this, so don't lie and say you did. That's a fucking lie. Because I, I know who thought of this. I know who thought of this word right here. So if anybody dire says anything about couch disease, I'm going to be mad as fuck. I'm letting you know right now. 
okay, this person just pretends to uh, love you, woman, and they're sticking by you uh, all because what you do for them, because they're lazy as fuck, and they don't want to get off the couch because they got couch disease. Are you listening? They got couch disease. They whoop your kids, and they don't tell you when you're at work. Um, they cheat on you and lie. They steal money and claim it on another masculine. They physically, mentally, and psychologically, and maybe even uh, sexually abuse you. They want you to stroke their ego. And uh, they they like when you tell them to stop doing drugs, but they just like doing drugs and going around licking and licking in butt cracks. And um, you're their karma. That's a bad deal wrong when this brother got involved in... Uh, this brother got involved in it. They he might they he might try to get involved in your relationship, huh? But I believe what it's saying. This brother has a bad deal for him to go around fucking around on his old lady. Uh, that because he was just horny. Uh, he's mad call and trying to have your readings blocked because he paid somebody to do magic on you because he thought you'd be dead by now. And uh, they're mad because you left them in a the dust. And they're mad because you're telling how he was poisoning his mom. And uh, you need to speak your truth, this son of a bitch. And then your upgrades will come. But not until then. You got to open your voice up and tell what they fucking did to you. Say, I don't give a fuck if you get mad at my readings or other people's readings. It's triggered you because it struck a truth on the inside of you and on the inside of your heart. That's not me. Don't get mad at me and take it out on me and my collective. You need to learn how to calm yourself down, not take everything personally. Especially people that I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? If I don't even fucking know you, don't get mad and delete off my channel. That don't, that don't make a lick of sense. Do you understand? All right. Use common sense discernment, all right? And everything that people wish on a divine being and you do spells on them, oh, God, you, God will kill you. God will kill you if you're doing that to a modern-day prophet like me. I can see visions. Don't fucking do that to me, I'm telling you right now. And a bunch of men that hate women, Archangel Michael's going to put your dick in the dirt. He's going to put your dick in the dirt, and you'll be dying. And and and, uh, and, and that's how that's how you the payment it comes back. If you beat that woman, you bust her in the fucking head. You throw her into the wall, and you throw her in the kitchen sink, and then you took your boots and stepped on her, or you took your hands and you choked her. Whatever you did, pulled her higher, bald-headed, whatever you did, all I know is Archangel Michael's going to kill you, all right? And they can't stop listening uh, to ever who this person is. Uh, uh, you you go, you need to stop listening to this motherfucker. They just want control over you, and and uh, they they uh, they they know that you went through a transformation. Everybody around seeing it, and they know that they chose to spread lies on you. And uh, God's going to get them. God's going to get them. That's what it means. God's going to get them. Okay. Hang on. Let me put this. I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 wowdy, woody, woo, 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 woody, woody, this was a get best one. 1322, this was the best one. <laughs> All right, so, uh, didn't y'all know that you can't harm a chosen one? We're highly protected. We're highly protected. We got these angels around us. It's got wings and eyeballs all over it, and they protect us from all these people. Because, you know, we, we put our trust in our higher power. We trust ourselves. We trust divine. Oh, gods, we do it so fine. Oh, gosh, and they can't stop thinking of you. They love only you, and they have to have you, baby. Oh, God, they, they got to have you. Oh, God, they're solid as a rock and hard and stable, loving and caring man. Oh, God, they want to take you out to the desert. This twin flame remembers you out in the desert. You Maybe you all had a past life out in the desert, and they remember making love to you when it was a big orange moon, and they remember seeing you and your titties laying there glistening in the moonlight. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this twin said now. Oh, and they say, you're a mighty warrior, and our souls are is old, and we fought a many battles over this twin flame. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, guys, ooh. Twin Ray has fought a lot of battles over his twin flame, and you deserve love and to be happy. And yes, some people will try to steal your joy and light, but you're meant to walk away from these people who was against you. Twin Ray said, get the fuck away. 
We fought many battles over this twin flame. We're highly protected, chosen ones from the Bible. Oh, that's my story. Sorry, I had to put that in there, okay? Uh -uh. Oh, and Divine Master wants to bring you a gift. He's got a ring for you and praying that you accept it and become his wife forever. Oh, God. Am I right, me, Divine Feminine? Did you hear that? And you and him is going to be protected for all your good works, you and your partner. You don't have to, nothing to worry about. And whoever this person is, uh, they're nervous as hell when you come into contact with him or her. They're shaky. Like, <laughs> you'll be like, what's wrong? And they're like, uh, nothing. Like, uh, they're in love with you. That's why they shake. They, they, they're, they get tongue tied. They're hiding their emotions for you. They love you, but they don't know how to just come clean with it. That's why they're shaky. And you know who it is? It's a Taurus. They love you. And uh, don't focus all your attention on money and don't focus on true love, Taurus, because that's where y'all get hung up at. You'll get too focused on them possessions and you'll let the love, the love of your life slip right out of your hands because you didn't pay any attention, him or her. Did you hear? So you better listen now. And a real man tends to his own herd. He goes out and makes it all on his own. That's a quote by me, Pamela. Oh, God. He, he, your partner knows he goes out and works for you every day. You know, he loves you. Uh, he still, sh if you all have been together for many years, he's still shaky to this day. But if you're not together with this person, he wants you to know that he will go out and make a way for you all. He does it every day and he will give you a place to stay. That's all it's saying now. All it, because he knows that you know how to hustle. And you've always had to make a living for yourself through multiple avenues. Like you're a jack or drain of all trades. You're good at anything. You can't fix, uh, you know, like you're a maintenance man. <laughs> you can fix anything. Like I used to do that at the restaurant I worked at in the stockyard. Yeah, I used to do all the maintenance. But yeah, it, you're good at anything you touch. And this horse knows it. They fucking love you. They fucking love you because you're all a part of the 144,000 and you're meant to come together for the greater good of all humanity. This is why. Did you see why? Look here, Tauruses. 171788. 17, Do you get it? Ooh, eights, eights, and nines, and eights, and 144,000. That's why. Oh, God. And it says, when you do the work on the inside internally, it shows up externally because you did the healing of how you showed up to people in the world. Good idea. I know he's so cute. Don't steal it, though. It's my little man. I, my idea. So, anyway, um, this Taurus appreciates you for how you started showing up to people. He he wants to talk to you so bad. He, he He's nervous. He, he, he's got bad nerves. And, you know, a lot of people that has bad nerves like that, it's just because you're going through a, a... You might be... Go, moving up a level in the spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying? And, and and you'll get headaches and just feel different and weak sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think you and this Taurus knows that anyways, but uh, he knows that you're all supposed to go on your go out on your own and to the world and show what you're all capable of. He's praying you'll accept that you'll be his wife but if you're in a relationship with this twin flame, you got to get out of that. You got to get out of that contract with them and uh, go towards this twin twin ray. This just depending on who's listening. Uh, maybe you're you fought a lot of battles over uh, that twin ray, your spiritual partner, you know, and and it just depends on whoever's listening. Like I said, but all I know is you're all um, highly protected and because you all keep putting your trust in a higher power and this man fucking loves you look he loves you look cowboy maybe maybe you all remember living in the 1800s oh wow and looky here look looky here can I pull this off my divine masculine knows this necklace remember this necklaces you remember my necklace, Divine Masculines? Uh, my Divine Masculine members. So anyway, here's my little cross, and it's got, um, like, garnet. It's, like, got garnet in it. That's my birthstone. And, uh, and it looks, it looks amethyst sometimes, but it, it looks garnet. Or ruby. And then this says, right here, it says, uh, 
1898. That's why I always say eight to nines. It says 1898. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, it's got like gas film on it where it's been hanging up. It says 1898. I don't know if you can see it, y'all, but maybe y'all have linked back to 1898. I just thought I'd show you that. Well, I seen that cowboy hat. I thought that was cool. But uh, you all was placed here at this certain time to remember the battles that you fought over this twin flame, and you're meant to come together even if you don't stay together. Your twin flame, your twin ray, you're meant to come together with that twin ray because you had a contract back in the old days so y'all can ascend back to heaven. I don't know what it is, but God God knows you're all highly protected for all your good works, whatever it is. So even if y'all don't become together in a relationship, you all need to be friends anyway so y'all can go back to heaven. Are you listening to what I'm saying now? You and your twin flame and twin ray, all three of you, y'all to fucking do that. Yeah, you do. All right, and that's why they're shaky, because they know how important y'all are. And they and they know that you've you've healed and they love you. And they freaking love you like big. They love you so much. They just want to tell you so much how much they love you, buttercup. That's what they said now. Hang on. Hanging on, baby. Hang on, babies, I gotta find us the right stuff, babies. I wanna find the right stuff for you and me. I gotta tell us one of these. Let's do this love tarot, baby. Let's do a little love tarot, baby, and see what it tells us. Cause we wanna know what it's telling us today, yo, yo, yo. All right, let's see what they said, you guys. What a little tarot message for the collective. Tarot message for the collective. I love you, collective. If y'all love me, 2211, hit subscribe and hit like. Thank you. That's how you help me. I appreciate you guys. Hit subscribe and hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload. Hang on, let me pull this out, and I'm going to tell you a story. Tell you what this story's about now. I mean, sometimes this energy will switch around. It, You know, it can't stay on the same person all the time. You know, like it had that brother and then it had twin flame, but that's just how spirit wanted to throw it out, you know. To, but it'll try to, it's it's telling somebody, it's telling a few people different things. You see what I'm saying? What under man? Oh, 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 what this? And, oh, well. A do da, a dilly day, and a do da, dilly day. And I do da diddly day and I do da diddly day. Oh wow, and I do da diddly day. And I do da diddly day. And what is the last one? And I do da diddly day. Hey, hey, and I do da a diddly day. And I do da diddly day. And I do da diddly day. What did you say? I said, hey, oh, baby, you thought that's so big, baby, and I never did see. How fast you could be, you and me. Oh, wow, but now we see, baby, bloom, bloom. Oh, wow. Okay, so what is is here is a king of cups. So there's somebody who's wanting to pour out his emotions to you. You see him sitting there pouring his wine or champli into a his giant uh, cup. <coughs> they have a lot of love for you. Um, I guess here's the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, uh, they got a lot of love for you. Uh, your luck is changing with this man. Uh, they want to bring the truth to you. Oh, God, look at her. They got that truth, uh, sword of truth up. They're, they, they, uh, they got love for you, and they'll kill for you. See that blood on it? See that blood? They want to bring you some black roses. I love blood black or blue dark pretty i think it's pretty 24 24 oh gosh they uh here's a six uh six of wands they they want to have a victory uh with you and um 
they want to take you out boating with them. Look, they if you've been talking about 2444, if you've been talking about going out fishing, they want to get you in a boat and take you out fishing. And they want to uh, talk to you a lot. That's why that woman's got that little bird in that cage right there. They're wanting to just chatter with you. And they want to chit chit chatter with you. And God, they want you to come sit on their lap because they love you so much. They uh, Five of Pentacles. Uh, somebody might have been leaving you out in the cold, though. Like if you are... This person might have been making you feel like they didn't want you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, maybe they've been playing around with somebody else. Yeah, and it made you be like at an impasse or feeling uh, like you, which which way do I go? We're stuck. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, four cups. Uh, some uh, you was uh, in the. They wanted you to be depressed. Somebody wanted you to be depressed. And and uh, Six of Pentacles. Um, you're somebody who knows how to give and receive equally. And uh, ten, of, ten of Coins. This is about your... Uh, this is about your generational wealth. This is about your generational wealth. You know, uh, the wealth that you and your partner has built. If you're with a partner, you've been together for many years. Uh, you know, pinnacles. If you see king or uh, king or queen of pinnacles, that also means a marriage. Okay, you you know what I'm saying? But so uh, maybe somebody is leaving you out in the cold in your marriage, and they're going around and fucking around like at a whorehouse or something you didn't know about it um but a page some younger energy it might be a son of yours or a daughter of yours wanting to come and tell you something um this is somebody who is you know timid and uh they're still young uh oh look this and then this this person that wants to come talk to you uh look here uh, it's a de it's a battle to the death. Three of Swords. This was a heartbreaking betrayal. Maybe uh, somebody was cheating around. Maybe you did do that before. Maybe and now um, and now uh, you all have grown from that. You know. And then it says you're going to receive a lot of wealth from the divine by removing all these burdens. You took these burdens that wasn't yours to pack. You 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 left them laying because these were somebody else's to pack. And, you know, that's why judgment came out. See her with the horn right there. Uh, maybe uh, you had to call judgment on this situation and how... Uh, oh, look here. And then we got three of cups... Uh, Look how it looks like there is sneaking around going on in the community. You see what I'm saying? See like how he's looking around before he goes in that door? Like uh, you're speaking about how this man's been looking around and going through them whore's doors, you know? Maybe it's, if this is your partner, you know, generational wealth, they're getting ready to get killed by this woman's husband. Did you see that? Oh, wow. Maybe that's that brother getting ready to die because he's fucking somebody that's married. Oh, wow. And then look here. Here's, here is a, a Ace of Wands. This is about um, your um, creative, your creativeness, you know, and taking action. Uh, this man thought it would be fun to take action, uh, and then here we got King of Pentacles. Uh, they want to do this to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's getting judgment called upon them because they was lying and cheating in a relationship. So it's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's lying and cheating and lying. You know, seven of oh, but seven of cups. Oh, they had a, they got a lot of options. That's what it meant. Hang on, they got a lot of options. Yes, and what else? Got a lot of options and what else? Spirit, they got a lot of options and what else? They, they are, that's why they're not really talking to you. See him how he's got his head, hand over his head like, shut the fuck up. I don't even want to talk about it. Or that's him going into the quarters and into the lairs and of this other woman's home. Okay. Yeah. What else? What else? 
Oh, gods. And then we got six of cups. They can't stop thinking about you. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they are in love with you, I guess. They can't stop thinking about you. They're wanting to offer you some love. It's Page of Cups. They want to uh, play with you. They feel innocent around you. They just want to kiss you. Ooh, they want to kiss you right between the titties. They want to kiss you like that. <laughs> oh, nine of coins. They know you're a successful businesswoman, and they are a successful businessman, and they want to take you traveling all around the world, baby. That's what it is. They want to travel with you all around the world. And, uh, they're alchemizing this. They're alchemizing you all to be as one and be together. Ooh, they love you. They're alchemizing this love. Oh, they're alchemizing you into their life, Empress. They fucking love you. You're very creative and beautiful and bold. And you're very courageous. And you're like a fucking damn courageous lion. And he wants to buy you the beautifulest damn wedding dress that you've ever saw in your life. Because you're all like royalty. Look at that. It's royalty. You're royalty. He's alchemizing your all's royal lineage. He knows your all's royal lineage. And he's your spiritual partner, two of cups. He's your spiritual partner from God. You know, he's alchemizing your love. He's alchemizing your love. He loves you big, baby. Oh, God, he can't stop thinking of you. He's coming to you soon, soon enough. Oh, God, yeah, looky here. He's coming to you, baby. You all want to go somewhere big. And, and, you know, this is justice. You might have to go to court and get rid of that one old man that wasn't uh, giving you no uh, emotions or feelings. They they was and go towards this person that has giant love for you. They're building a place for you. Yeah, there's your emperor. See, it's your emperor. Your emperor fucking loves you. They love you. They they want to have a little kid with you. They want to have a little baby. That's what it is. Oh God, it coming to light. You're so sexy. And this motherfucker that's cheating around, man or woman, whoever they are, they're going to get their due, you know. I know I don't do that shit. Somebody says I do, they're a lying motherfucker. I'm not young anymore. I've learned my life's lessons. You understand, women? You understand? Oh, yeah. I got married real young, and I've learned a lot of fucking lessons. And all the fucking lessons was a blessing, and I've even blessed them out. But I don't do that anymore because I've learned my lesson. And I just appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I hope that I can help somebody out here today. And if I helped you, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. That's how you help me, you guys, so I can give a prize away at 500. People's been deleting on my channel, and I, I don't know why I'm trying to, I try to be good to everybody and try to give away prizes, and they keep trying to push me away in the spiritual community, and I got over 300 videos. Y'all tell me why. Look at my playlist, and go through there and find videos that'll help you. Look in collective readings. I've got one that says collective reads, and it has nothing in there. So if you go in that one and there ain't no fucking videos, then you know it's the wrong one. I just ain't deleted it. Go in the one where it has all them fucking readings at. And go in the ones that has signs, like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have them too. You can go in there and look. And I love you guys. Pieces. Have a good night. And I, I thank you all. And I thank you for your little help. I appreciate it.